Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number seven, different columns. My name's Jeff, I'm glad that you're here. Let's just jump right in. We have a basic report structure, this little formula-based report, and we want to pull some values into these cells. The values are going to come from this table. This table is called table one, all right? Sounds like a perfect job for VLOOKUP. Equals VLOOKUP. We want it to go find this in table one, return the value from the second column, zero for exact match. Close the function and enter. Looks good. We should be able to copy and paste, good, and paste, and uh-oh, we have a problem. So what's going on? Well, when we wrote this formula, we asked it to look up the value that was in column B, and that worked for the next one down, but it stopped working at selling expenses because this report label is in column C, okay? So we have a couple of different options. One option is we could just actually change this formula and, and move the lookup column to, uh, to C, okay? And what would be the problem with that? Well, that'd be fine for a one-time project, but for recurring use kinds of workbooks, we prefer to use the formula consistency principle. That means I write a formula once and I wanna fill it down through the range. Why? Because then updating formulas every um, subsequent period is, is easier. Okay, so instead of having custom formulas throughout this range, let's see if we can write a consistent formula. That brings us to hack number seven. Use concatenation in the first argument. Okay, concatenation is designed to join values to return a combined text string, join values. And there's different ways to do concatenation. The way that we're gonna do it here is we're gonna use the concatenation operator, and that is the ampersand. So we want to go ask Excel to find the value that is in B6 and then join that to C6. Okay, comma, in table one, return the value from the second column, zero for exact match. So before we hit enter, let's just review. I'm asking VLOOKUP to find the value that is returned from this concatenation operator. This joins the value that is in B6 with the value that is in C6. Enter. Okay, it still looks good for the first one. We copy, paste, it looks good, and paste, and yes, it works, okay? So that is how we can combine values to return a single text string that is used by VLOOKUP, right? And that just helps us write a consistent formula that we can fill down throughout the report, all right? Good, all right. Hope this helped you get more use uh, out of this amazing VLOOKUP function. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.